Today, let's talk about 7 ways vitamin D deficiency can affect you. And what you can do about it. Most people in the United States consume less than the daily recommended amount of vitamin D. Data from a 2013 to 2016 study showed that 92% of men, more than 97% of women, and 94% of all people over the age of one year were getting less than the daily recommended amount of 400 IU of vitamin D from food or beverages. The reality is, if your body isn't producing sufficient levels of vitamin D, it can wreak havoc on your system. This includes 1. Heart disease and high blood pressure. A growing number of scientific studies are pointing to vitamin D deficiency as a risk factor for heart attacks. Congestive heart failure, peripheral arterial disease, PAD, Stokes, and high blood pressure. Vitamin D is known to help regulate blood pressure in the kidneys as well. 2. Bone disorders and osteoporosis. Your bones are constantly being remodeled. However, as you age, especially if you're a woman during menopause, the breakdown rates exceed bone buildup rates. Over time, bone density declines. Osteoporosis is one effect of long-term calcium and or vitamin D deficiency. Bones also depend on the surrounding muscles for strength. And vitamin D is needed for proper growth and development of muscle tissue. 3. Diabetes. Vitamin D helps your body regulate the amount of blood sugar levels in the pancreas. It also helps improve your body's sensitivity to insulin, which is the hormone your body makes to regulate your blood sugar levels. Vitamin D can thus prevent insulin resistance, which can lead to diabetes. 4. Infections. Before modern antibiotics were invented, some infections, like tuberculosis, were treated by having the patient get plenty of sunlight and take cod liver oil daily. Several studies have shown a relationship between vitamin D deficiency and an increase in infections. 5. Autoimmune disorders. There is increasing evidence linking low levels of vitamin D in the body with some autoimmune disorders like multiple sclerosis, MS rheumatoid arthritis, raw, inflammatory bowel disease, and systemic lupus erythematosus SLE. Patients with these disorders usually have lower levels of vitamin D than patients without an autoimmune disorder. 6. Certain types of cancer. Vitamin D helps to keep abnormal cells from multiplying in breast and colon tissues, which can help prevent and maybe even treat breast and colon cancer, and possibly prostate cancer as well. 7. Pregnancy Complications A 2019 study showed a link between low vitamin D in pregnant women and the risk of preeclampsia and giving birth early. There may also be a link with gestational diabetes. And women with low vitamin D are more likely to get bacterial vaginosis during pregnancy. However, it's important to note that getting too much vitamin D may be associated with an increased risk of the child developing food allergies in the first two years of life. Then, how much vitamin D do you really need? In a healthy person, the amount of vitamin D you need every day is going to depend on your age. Your needs will increase over time as your body ages and becomes less capable of making and utilizing the vitamin. The following will give you general guidelines for recommended daily amounts, RDA, of vitamin D for each age range. Remember, however, that your doctor may recommend higher levels if you have vitamin D deficiency or are at risk. Especially if you have osteoporosis or other bone disorders. It's important to talk with your doctor about your individual needs. Infants 0 to 6 months need 400 IU daily, no more than 1000 IU a day. Infants 6 to 12 months need 400 IU daily, no more than 1,500 IU a day. Children 1 to 3 years old need 600 IU daily, no more than 2,500 IU a day. Children 4 to 8 years old need 600 IU daily, no more than 3,000 IU a day. Over 9 years old need 600 IU daily, no more than 4,000 IU a day. Over 70 years old need 800 IU daily no more than 4,000 IU a day. Pregnant or lactating women, 14 to 50, need 600 IU daily, no more than 4,000 IU a day. Notice the upper limits on these vitamin D amounts. Since vitamin D is fat-soluble, it can build up to toxic levels in your body. 
This can cause some pretty serious side effects. So don't go over the daily recommended amount without your doctor's suggestion. Then, what are the foods that contain vitamin D? Modern science often adds vitamins and minerals to processed foods. For example, vitamin D is added to most dairy products and some grains. But most vitamin D is found in animal products like fatty fish, tuna, salmon, mackerel, and beef liver. Take a closer look at the levels in different foods and supplements. Cod liver oil contains 1360 international units IU, per tablespoon. Cooked trout contains 645 IU in 3 ounces. Cooked swordfish contains 566 IU in 3 ounces. Cooked salmon contains 447 IU in 3 ounces. Mushrooms that are white, raw, sliced and exposed to UV light contains 366 IU in 1 half cup. Tuna that is canned in water and drained contains 154 IU in 3 ounces. Fortified orange juice contains 137 IU in 1 cup. Fortified milk contains 115 to 124 IU in 1 cup. Fortified soy, almond, or oat milk contains 100 to 144 IU in 1 cup. Fortified yogurt contains 80 IU in 6 ounces. Sardines that is caned in oil and drained contains 46 IU in 2 sardines. Scrambled egg contains 44 IU in 1 large egg. Cooked beef liver contains 42 IU in 3 ounces. Egg yolk contains 41 IU in 1 large yolk. Fortified cereal contains 40 IU in 1 cup. Cheddar cheese contains 12 IU in 1 ounce. Swiss cheese contains 6 IU in 1 ounce. Portobello mushrooms contains 4 IU in 1 half cup. However, fruits, vegetables, grains and cereals contains 0 IU. As you can see, certain animal products contain more vitamin D than other foods. It's important to check nutrition labels to be certain how much vitamin D, and other nutrients, your food actually has. Fortified foods don't all contain the same amounts of vitamin D that's all for today. Thumb up if you like this video. You can also check my blog detoxasgood.com for more related topics. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you would like to get notified when a new video is on. Thank you and see you in the next video.